The camera caught this since traffic was at a standstill in D.C. due to the events that took place on January 6th. This D.C. resident was expressing his feelings and the driver in the coupe felt that the resident's concerns resonated with her. kidding me you obviously get back up so I can pull my scooter out my only mode of transportation is not because of you The lady said that the sun was in her eyes and couldn't see the camera until he was on her hood. Thankfully, the camera was fine. She gave him $500 for a new scooter and helmet. The camera claims that his glasses fogged up due to wearing a mask resulting in this fender bender. Thankfully, no one was seriously injured. Initially, the camera was going to be at fault. Thanks to dash cam footage, the other driver was found at total fault and had to pay all damages done to the camera's truck. After the driver ran the stop sign, he crashed over an embankment. He fled the scene due to having warrants out for his arrest. The camera got rear-ended by the driver behind them. Thankfully, it was minor and there were no injuries. On the brighter side of things, the driver was very apologetic for the accident. The camera pursued the truck driver whose debris caused the crack for about 30 minutes to exchange information. After about two months of dealing with insurance, he finally got his windshield replaced. No. No. Crack has been. Cause I have to look out for it in Fayetteville, I'm like, I'm gonna... My cops are gonna let us. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> the van runs red and gets t-boned. Not one, but two karma cops were perfectly placed to respond to this accident. That's why staying alert behind the wheel is crucial.
on. Did you just hit him? I think car just hit me. I think you just hit him. I have it on camera. Oh my god. The camera was on his phone with the friend who was in the car ahead. The turning driver sideswiped her. Thankfully, the damages were minimal. The debris from the truck caused $5,000 in damages to the camera's truck. The camera is still dealing with insurance to get them to pay out. The camera stopped to help and called 911. He also provided the video footage for everyone involved. Thankfully, there were no serious injuries reported. the camera was alert, they were able to prevent a collision with the sedan driver that blindly pulled out. This is a great example of why it's imperative to stay alert behind the wheel. The oncoming driver believes that he has a green since the car next to him moved when in reality he had a red. This mishap causes him to rear-end the car in front of the camera and be at fault for the accident. The semi-truck and the camera tried to enter the same lane at the same time. The semi-truck driver got mad and cut off the camera. The camera didn't engage and drove off to prevent any escalations. Insurance still has not ruled who would be at fault here. Would the camera be at fault or the SUV driver? Let me know your predictions in the comment section. The truck driver was distracted, ramming into the camera's brand new car. What do you think that distraction was? A phone, possibly? The camera is unfortunately still dealing with insurance. This is a little blast from the past, but I sure miss this can opener bridge. It's a miracle that the pedestrian got out of harm's way in the nick of time.